back to City Line. Did you see Chris on the wide shot? Chris is waiting to play us out in our fourth segment with Tacoma Revels. So we keep giving you a little teaser so you can pull all the kids and all the grandparents in and say, sit down for some good music in three more segments. So with me now is Tacoma Refugee Choir. And if you know anything about my heart, you know my heart is branded with justice over it. And the Tacoma Refugee Choir is one of our most best kept secret weapons when it comes to being the compassionate Tacoma that Mayor Woodards calls us. So please join me in welcoming Maria Pojar. Did I get it right? Perfect. You say it the way that it's supposed to be said. It's Maria Pajar. Beautiful. <laughs> and don't you ever say perfect when someone mispronounces your name. <laughs> you say it back to them because we all need to speak the same language. Welcome to City Line. Thank you Good for having you here. I want to say welcome back to Gadine. And Gadine, you have a middle name that... I have to tell you, up until this moment, there, there wasn't any name I couldn't pronounce. <laughs> I was one of those kids. But will you please pronounce it for us? Neotpise. What she said, Boutin. Boutin. <laughs> there we go. Hello, my dear, and Hi. welcome back. So, Maria, you're director of operations, which is incredible that Tacoma Refugee has this now. I remember when Aaron Gwinnip was sitting on that couch going, I had a thought, and my husband thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> and look at this now. And now we have you, Gadine, as the uh, member coordinator also of Tacoma Refugee Choir. Wow. Look how much Tacoma Refugee Choir has grown up. Yeah. This is pretty impressive. Let's talk about, uh, first off, how did the two of you come to Tacoma Refugee Choir? Because everybody who's involved in the Refugee Choir has a story. Okay. So Maria, what is yours? My story is I immigrated uh, to the United States from Ukraine in 2015 and I was lucky to join Tacoma Refugee Choir as choir member in uh, 2018. Okay. And throughout the years I had multiple hats. I uh, served on board of directors and a couple of years ago I joined staff. And I like to think about myself as a magician behind the scenes helping Tacoma Refugee Choir to achieve its mission. Oh, I love that. And a beautiful, calm, elegant mu magician at that. <laughs> um, Gadeen, what is your story? Tell us how you came to be in the Refugee Choir. I uh, came into the United States as a student, as a nursing student, actually, back in 2015, 2016. And then uh, life changed. I was back in Eastern Washington and back in 2020 got married here and my husband stationed here in at McCord Air Force. So I was basically forced to move to Tacoma. <laughs> um, and that is where I needed community and just being able to feel like I'm, I'm again starting over, if you know, if you understand mm -hmm. what that means. I do. Um, and starting over is really hard, not only in different city, but in different country at the same time. So I needed community and I needed people to just be around me. And one of the board members, um, she's no longer here, she moved to New York, but uh, she just th thought I could do better things with the Tacoma Refugee Choir and she introduced me to it and I had joined uh, ever since, about 2020, 2021, 2021, uh, yeah. I know what you mean when it comes to starting over. Yeah. I absolutely know what that means. Yeah. and. Um, let me tell you, a purple heart to you, sister, because it's not easy when you don't know anybody and you're also attached to the military. My dad was in the Air Force, so yeah. we moved all the time. And sometimes we moved away where we didn't have community, and that's it really teaches you a lesson yeah. about community. I wish your voice was attached to all of those international <laughs> live abroad um, ads that we see because they're beautiful, but you've got to know that you have to make your own community yeah, and how valuable sure. it is. So speaking of community, if we look at the phrase Tacoma Refugee Choir, we want to ask ourselves, is it a choir of refugees or is it a choir of people who have found their community, Gadeen? Tacoma Refugee Choir is out of it. <laughs> Tacoma Refugee Choir is a community of immigrant, refugees, and friends. There we which go. Is the whole Tacoma in general. 
um, that come together tonight through music yes. and also find connection and implement change. Exactly, yeah. because we all speak the language of music. Correct. When you think about, as when I was little in the nursery rooms, I could sing Frère Jaca in French and not even know what it meant. Yeah. But I could do it. <laughs> yeah. So when, when you think about what this choir means to you, and Maria, I'm going to start with you, what does it mean for you to be a part of the refugee choir in all of the hats you've worn? For me, Tacoma Refugee Choir is a place where my immigrant story and my love to music come together. Yes. It is sort of a home away from home. Mm -hmm. And it is a place where people from so many different backgrounds with so many different stories, sometimes people who come from opposite sides of a conflict, yes. are able to find a common ground and listen to each other and hear each other. <sighs> and heal together by singing. We need this. I'm not going to cry. We need this so much in our world right now. Mm -hmm. um, my goodness, if you could sit next to somebody and warm up vocally next to them and to know that this person across the world is an alto just like you are, you have something to build on. What about for you, Gadeen? What does it mean for you to have come here, found the Refugee Choir, amidst all this huge change in your life? Well, sorry. Uh, so well, right. almost what Maria said. Uh, it is a place where I found a family that I needed um, mm -hmm. and people who have the common goal, which is love. And, yes, and, and, and extend it to one another as much in the best way that is possible. And I don't think it was easy for me to just approach someone or even join any other group. But if you tell me to sing and, and, and move around, that would have been easier. It was the greatest way for me to be introduced in a community in a way I would not have had um, yeah. otherwise. And now I know so many people um, and have connected with so many people that I would not have exactly. gotten a chance to do so. Um, Tacoma community, Tac Tacoma Refugee Choir has done that for it me. It does. Boy, and just when I think about if it was not here, how long it would take both of you and your choir members to achieve that community on their own? Yeah. Decades. Yeah. Decades. So um, <clears throat> I want to talk about um, Harmony After Hours, Maria, because um, uh, when Aaron mentioned this on the couch a couple of months ago, and that was when you were here, Gadeen, yes. I thought, what an amazing program to be a part of. So tell us what it is and how we can be a part of it and what songs are featured. Harmony After Hours is an incredible program that we piloted this year, and it is a program that gives uh, everyone interested and curious to experience the uh, community singing, uh, to be a part of it. Uh, we um, invite uh, and feature different um, friends of uh, ours, uh, like for example, Erica Walker taught us gospel music. Yes. Uh, our friends from Primora uh, taught us Ukrainian dance and songs. Uh, and uh, our director, Erin Gwinap, uh, taught TRC songs yes. uh, to all the attendees. And, and as well, she taught some fundamentals of singing. Mm -hmm. And to be a part of it, it's simply come and join us. Uh, we have information about our upcoming events on our website, and it's very simple. I love that. You have uh, uh, a concert on December 16th that I want to talk about. We're going to roll some video here for our um, audience to look at and to get an idea of what you have been doing. What might people expect, Maria? Every year around the holiday season, we have a holiday concert yes. ready for everyone. And at each one of the concerts that we have, and this will be our third annual Let There Be Peace on Earth concert, this concert that promotes peace around the world. And at, this, uh, at every single concert, we invite artists and friends to share stage with us, mm -hmm. and we call it a welcoming artist series. Mm -hmm. And at those moments, we influence each other to collaborate on stage and create music together. And it, like this video is showing. Like this video year. is yeah. showing, yeah, it's beautiful. And this year, we are so lucky to partner with Hrai More. Yes. And it's a band, a group of wonderful people who promote Ukrainian 
song and culture through performance and music. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, that is not to miss. So, Kadeen, give us some logistics. Uh, where is the concert and how can people attend and what do we need to know? Yeah, um, the concert is taking place at Mount, Mount Tahoma High School in okay. their, um, one of their auditorium, I think. Yeah. Um, and it is, it is, as you say, December 16th at 2.30 to 4. 4.30 p.m. Oh, good time. To 4 p.m. And, um, and in order to get your ticket, just register at TacomaRefugeeChoir.org. I love and, that. And just, you know, suggestion is donation, uh, okay. but the concert is free. No one gets turned away because yeah. they can't afford to come listen to the heavenly sounds of the Tacoma Refugee Choir. Mm -hmm. um, let's do some thank yous. Who do we need to thank? Um, it takes a village. I mean, when I when we were in the green room, I was talking about how proud I am of just the little seed that Erin had to the point that she feels so comfortable with her people to let them go and to be a part of the mission. So who do we need to thank? Oh, we would like to thank to everyone yes. who has ever touched Tacoma Refugee Choir. Yes. To our donors, to our friends, to all the organizations and all all the wonderful people who've been a part of it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I imagine now that Tacoma Refugee Choir has found its legs and is flapping its wings that you see people in that audience that are repeat offenders. And <laughs> I will be there on the 16th and I want to be looking at those repeat offenders. So thank you, thank you. so much for being here today and happy holidays. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. We have much more to come on City Line. Don't go away. We'll be right back.